What's up, my dudes? Worldwide meme here, back at it again, still outdated as ever. And joining me here on this co-op LP is Aiden of, uh, who are you again? Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, bl I'm from- Blue I Cat don't Cat care. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing Kirby Dreamland 8. Ooh, my favorite, now go the cat. Oh, my waifu. Oh, my favorite, Totodile. Choo Choo's my waifu, you little. <laughs> Oh wow, that's spoofy. That so many actually came to life. Level five iceberg. Name oh. one video game where the ice level is the last level. That didn't even feel right. And yeah, yet, that here sounds we are. pretty crappy. But yeah. Hey, another flower level. Great. Ooh, I like flowers. Oh, I'm not Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> we actually went full on with the bit. We switched controllers, headphones. Look, we have his headphones. Clothing. We just switched back controllers. I switched minds with Ethan too, so now I know all of Ethan's uh, nastiest thoughts. <laughs> well, you know, when you take their clothes, you take You actually do like orange juice with pulp. You lied to me last episode. <laughs> I mean, I'll still drink it, but like... Now that I know your real thoughts. <laughs> now I know what you really think about me. What'd you learn about me? Uh, I don't know. You do the stupid face and you have your fuck teeth out all the time. You're like, mm -hmm. I learned that we just got a game over. Like always. We always have to start an episode by dying. I yeah. hope you know. My episode, by the way. It's my channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's my channel. You get Blue Cock Productions. Howdy, y'all. Blue, Blue Cock Productions here with another uh, fantastic episode. <laughs> fantastic? Fan what do I say? Fantasmic. <laughs> orgasmic episode. Do you say orgasmic? No. That'd be pretty cool. I wish I did. I wish I was cool. I wish I did now. These bits are getting crazy. Oh, those are like mini umbrellas. They are. They're kind of cool. No, they're, they're like, they're like the mini umbrella like monster. Yeah. Yeah. His children. His foot children. They do not die in one hit like they were believing me to believe. Nah, I just kick him up. I was trying to get past him. You're fake newsing. You right are now. fake news. I wonder if there's a fire building. We have to like warm him up or something. Oh, maybe. Get that fire oh, nice and toasty. I'm trying to figure out like, ah, uh, fire. Yeah, I'm gonna take the fire. All right, go ahead. We probably need it. I shall sit right Fun. here with my lovely umbrella. Bam. Um, stone, can you chill the fuck out, my dude? Uh, left or right? I'm gonna go up here. Okay. Oop. Doesn't oh. matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. Uh -uh. Don't think about it too much, too much. We were referencing two different songs. Oh, that, that was a song? They both are. Oh. Neither of them are great. <laughs> <laughs> really, the cha-cha is where it at. <laughs> I really enjoy cha 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 -ing. Not the cha-cha you're thinking of, of like, cha-cha again. No, that's an okay song. The cha-cha eat That's a room. party song. I'm thinking of the real crap. He's thinking the DRAM, I like to cha-cha. I like to cha-cha. Followed uh. by A. <laughs> over and over and uh, over. Guess who was right. And over Guess again. who was right. Watch this. What if you incinerate the flower? Hot though? fire. Okay. Well, don't, don't hit it again, you know. Don't know how I didn't hit it there, but I guess the flowers are, uh, have learned oh. since their previous <laughs> mistake of always dying all the time. You're pretty smart, though. I, you figured that out one pretty I mean, good. yeah. I'm surprised we actually... Yeah. We're learning! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Too bad this series is going to end in, like, <laughs> two episodes. Yeah, exactly. This is probably the second to last episode because we're on the final world now. And all we have left is, like, this world and the true boss fight for collecting all the heart stars. Hmm. But that's it. What's the fire ability? Why are you picking Rick again? Hasn't Rick failed you too many times to you know what? You're right. I really do like... hate Rick. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. I need the fire. Pick Pitch. Pitch never got enough screen time. Whoa. That and he's like a missile. Look at that <laughs> shit. I feel he's like that's the majority fire. of Pitch's power-ups. It's just, here's a missile. Here's another missile. Yeah, just throw him out. No. I thought they were invulnerable. <laughs> no, and they're not invulnerable to Gooey because Gooey's like awesome or god. Uh, well, we already know what to do. Right. Right? Right. And that, that's what counts. <laughs> if we leave it off and we have no idea what we're doing, then I'm sorry, guys. We're just that bad. <laughs> but, hey, I figured it out. Yes. And we know what to do. So I now bet you guys, guys at home can go do it, but right. Hey, you guys don't have to be like us and stupid. Yeah. Or just don't play it with We just friend. make the mistakes so you don't have to make them. <laughs> we're showing you how not to do it for future playthroughs of anybody who might want to LP this game. Yeah. So that, you know, they're they're better off for it. Uh. I feel much cooler now. Not in the sense of that I'm wearing the shirt with the coolest starter. Because Bulbasaur. I'm the coolest, right? But uh, the fact that it's actually cold now because I don't have the sweater on. <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah. But Bulbasaur's pretty cool. Bulbars. He's the best. I like how the trees are just like ice cubes melted into each other. On the shirt or in the level? <laughs> in the level. Oh, okay. Did you look at the trees? I was looking at my shirt. At this shirt. Is there any ice on your shirt? <laughs> I wish. Bulbasaur's cool as ice. <laughs> I'll keep making them Pokemon puns till the day I die. Straight up. Yo, Pitch Fire Radar seems to be doing mighty well after climbing up Mount Everest over here. Ah, I made it. Would you ever go for mountain climbing? Does that sound like something you would ever do? Nah, I'm a bit too clumsy. He said that all of his friends got crushed. Well, actually, only one friend got crushed. Yeah. We left a lot of them frozen afterward. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Bam. Alright. Alright! Give me a Ooh. high five. Ooh. That's what I call teamwork. On my channel, this is how things go. Yeah. Worldwide meme. Oh, dude, that's a Metroid. Yeah. One thing I remember from a Digi No Gaming mm -hmm. was that Samus was in this game, and I guess this is the level. Mm -hmm. Do we have to get a Metroid and bring it to her? Is that what is that, is that what happens here? You know what's kind of bizarre about the Metroid showing up in this level? Why is that Metroid's one weakness is uh, the ice. cold? Yeah, you can freeze them. So the fact that we have a Metroid in the iceberg seems not seems like they either didn't think it through. Or they thought it over yeah. too well. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, like, like, we're going to help Samus out. We can't just catch it normally. Like, we have to catch it frozen, you know. Who would let Kirby and a goo monster take control of one of the most powerful beings in, in all of the known galaxy? Would you let Kirby oh. near a parasitic... Bet. Bet. We're going to die. Bet. We're going to die. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Get, get through here. I bet. I bet it's down here. Fuck. You bet the Metroid is down there? You're fixing the Met die over okay. over your dumb prediction. <laughs> well, I mean, now, now that I know how to do it, it was like, oh, I guess that one. Now I have to guess them all. Oh. Yeah, this seems like a, a two, <laughs> being a two-player scenario would make this more hectic than it needs to be. So I'm going to let Ethan uh, solo it. What the? Let me. Oh, it's probably up there. You probably just missed it. If that's where it is, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> it's probably up there. Oh, hey! Hell! Hot fire! I'm back. Not like the Pokemon Go kid who's, who's back and making music Guess every who's day. Back. back. We thought about doing that for an opening. Yeah. We couldn't decide between the I play Kirby every day or spin, spin, spinny, spinny, spin, spin, the fidget spinner song. Spin, 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 spin. Only we'd be spinning the map over and over again while singing it. Yeah. Both were pretty cringy and awful. And uh, thankfully, the reverse like gag... Like this series! The reverse gag ended up winning out, so... <laughs> like this series! Smash that like button. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh... Me. Eat me. Oh. He likes oh, does me he now. follow you? Follow me, baby. Ow. That seems kind of wrong. Is he our friend now? Can we kill him? No. Does he's he just... a friend now. Okay. So when we walk out of here, does he follow us? Let's see. No. So he sucks on to us. Yes. What's the flying omelet guy have to say about this? This is pretty cool. This is a cool cameo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Definitely. really cool. Especially for 1997. What's coming out of Metroid in 1997? Nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> The last game in the Metroid series in 1997 is Super Metroid, all the way back in, like, 94 or some shit. Do we suck him? There isn't even a, a Metroid 64. So this is literally the most Metroid representation we get is in this game and in Smash Bros. And that's it. So, yes, this is very cool. Well, we picked up Nago. Does Nago, like, do a thing? No. Well... No. I'm gonna take a guess. It has something to do with Nago and fire. Or maybe we needed an ice power up. Hold on, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Yes. Um, so remember the part where I said Metroids don't like cold? Yeah, do we need an ice power up? We're bounty hunters. We're literally killing them. We have to kill them? We have to kill not only this one, but two others with an ice power up. Ooh, so you we don't need an animal buddy at all. Oh, so, but we need an ice power up. Yes. 
But we're in hell. <laughs> I wonder if I can go back and get one. Or, or you could die. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that since I'm bad at this game anyway. You can just eradicate yourself. You're just bad at the game. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, we just start right here. Spinny, 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 spin. I'm glad that we didn't look this up in preparation so that you guys could watch this two different times. It's much better to, to see. I promise you, this is much better content. To see people play through the same level over I, and over again. I watch Rick and Morty. Of course. So, yeah, we're essentially uh, bounty hunters. <laughs> Dude, that's hot. We're Kirby bounty hunters. Gotta say, pretty unique compared to any other Kirby. Where we kill things normally, now we kill Metroids. Right, but like Metroids are of a much higher caliber. Like, they pay Samus to do that. We're doing this shit for free. <laughs> Samus better be giving us some money. I uh, mean, I know she probably got a heart it. star. Ah, uh, there it is. But, like, I want cash. I Dude, need does it have to suck on us? Or, like... No, we just kill them. We just straight up... We murder. obliterate them. But there's more than one, so that's what we gotta look out for. That's do they the actually part. hurt us later on, or... I don't know. Mm. I don't want to spoil too much, even. Did you, uh... Naughty Goose. Did you play, or do you want to play the, uh, me uh, man, the second game remake on the 3DS? I forgot what it was called. A Metroid Return, Samus Returns? Yeah. It looks interesting. I thought it was cool looking. Yeah. If that'd be a cool Metroid game to pick up. Well, think about it, like, Zero Mission was the remake for the first one, and that one was on Game Boy. Yeah. And then, like, now we have a remake of the second one on 3DS. Do I say the unholy words of Super Metroid Remake, or do I get crucified for even <laughs> even bringing it up? Cruci you would dare remake such a fantastic game. Oh, I can fly. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna keep that. It's kind of chill. That's Sorry, Pitch. I mean, chill. I know we just talked about how you don't get enough screen time in this series, but uh, well, neither does Nago. I can definitely tell you that. Nago, the cat over here. He's the one who we're finding a romantic love buddy for later. Yeah, this is the last one we haven't done it. Yep. No, no, I were on the topic of Metroid. Burn. <laughs> Dude, he's he gone. <laughs> we pushed him. We froze him and pushed him to the lava. He literally bit the dust. That's great. Anyway, on the topic of Metroid. Yeah, while we're on the topic of Metroid, have you ever beat a Metroid game? I've played a lot of Super Metroid, but have not beaten it. Um, number one, the first one we don't own. We own Zero Mission. Fusion, you own. Have you beaten Fusion? Uh, no. These are the other two. We also have Prime, but we have not beat that either. Yeah, we don't. We haven't beaten that. I heard Prime's pretty easy to get into. And then, like, we don't own two or any of the other ones, to my knowledge, or any of the other there Primes. But yeah, great series and all. I love using uh, Samus in Smash, regular Samus. Fuck. Zero Suit's pretty fucking good, too, especially in Smash 4. No! With their, like, high heel boots. Those boots destroy. Well, I was waiting for you to finish talking about it. I was like, can you please take Nago? Because I'm about to die, but, uh... Too late. Are you dead? We better hope we kill all those Metroids. Was there only three? I felt like there was three. What's in this room? Have we gone in it? This is the one that we just did. No, it's the three one. Ah. Uh, yeah, we fucked up. Well, we figured out what to do. I'll go back and do this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, isn't that what we said for the last level? Isn't that what we say for, like, a really fucking... Isn't this a theme in this playthrough that we're bad at video games? <laughs> yes. Would you play a Metroid game on your channel? Uh, it'd be Super Metroid. I feel like I would, but I would have to know what I was doing. Because if I get lost on something, dude, I'd either have to have a walkthrough there or what. Fair. Some people get peed by that, though. They want to see the blind experience. They don't want to... If you want to see the blind experience, then, dude, that's <laughs> that's like going to be me recording for an hour. Like, oh, hey, I found this item. Be like, well, thanks, guys. And it's like literally two rooms away. Yeah. But like, I was just stuck there. Like, oh, how do I get here? Oh, God. That's the thing. If you're a viewer, you absolutely love blind playthroughs. If you're a content creator, you fucking hate them. Well, I mean, not all viewers like blind playthroughs. It's like, if you're that one viewer who likes blind playthroughs, then, like, cool for you. I feel like the majority do. Because they like seeing that struggle. They like seeing the blind aspect of it. If you're a big fan of it, obviously you like seeing it. If you're a content creator, blind playthroughs essentially means that you're going to be spending a lot Dude, of fucking time. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Yo, Gooey not die. Go through the door! Did we get through? <laughs> Woo! Sorry, Samus, I don't care! Whoa! Wow, that, was, that was scary. Also, that's a weird looking model of Samus. Yeah, she looked bizarre. Maybe that was. Bam, Maximum Tomato. Maybe that was the next design. Grab. You went straight for that Maximum Tomato. I wanted two tomatoes, and I got zero. 
Yo, Chef Kawasaki. Oh, wow. He makes a reference clean. He makes an appearance. Makes an appearance in almost all the Kirby's. Mm, well, he's a cook. Yeah. So let's get to thinking. We gotta be cooking by the book. Oh. This is the uh, memorization level that involves sound. Aw, oh, crap. Yeah. Well, if you like to know, our audio is a bit delayed. Yeah. So if it's timed... Right. Okay. You're gonna want the headphones. You have the headphones, Mr. Headphone. Yeah, but I'm gonna give them to you. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want to be responsible for failing on my channel. <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> Worldwide meme. So if I combust the sound... <laughs> so two, if we die... With two wavelengths... Not, not my fault. Okay. Go ahead. Got yeah, it. we don't need any of these guys. This is literally just a sound game. This is the game of sound. Yo, question. If yeah. you had to be on any game show, what would it be? If you could only be on one game show, rather. I guess I'd want to do question. Wheel of Fortune. You'd want to do Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. I always, I always saw, like, an alert to it. Yeah. I would probably say that. However, being a ch having a chance to be on Family Feud with Steve Harvey. Oh, uh, Harvey would just be cool to talk to. I feel like I could just be, meet, if um, I could meet anyone, I'd probably want to meet Steve Harvey. Like, right, I don't give a shit about Family Feud, but talking to Steve Harvey while playing Family Feud is I just like want the dude. The it's like great. Okay. And here's the thing with Family Feud, both me and you could be talking to Steve Harvey at the same time. Wheel of so Fortune. If I wanted a family experience. Wheel of Fortune's very solo. Well, well, that would know? have to be like Mother's Father's Day, you know, like go with your relative, whatever. I'm just talking like you and me and Steve Harvey. But like they have the special have fun party. Yeah. yeah. And it would be for Celebrity Family Feud, because I'll be a celebrity. Duh. But, yeah, of I'm course. I'm going to be a god by then. Obviously. That's just a real talk. Worldwide meme is going to be a, a monster channel. <laughs> oh, this is scrolling. I didn't realize. Doesn't everybody love scrolling levels? Yes. They really don't... Smash that like button down below if you like scrolling levels. And if you hate them, smash that like button down below. <laughs> smash that like button down below if you just fucking hate life. <laughs> Smash that like button down below if you want to be on the Family Feud with Steve Harvey. Smash that like button down below if you just really want to die. If, if Steve Harvey on Family Feud asked kind of a dirty question, would you be willing to give Steve Harvey a dirty answer, or would you have too much pride? Oh, no, I would definitely. Like, that, those are the best parts of Steve Harvey. Getting that, getting that Steve Harvey reaction be like, <laughs> Did he oh just say God. penis? <laughs> on Family Feud? What is my channel? What is my show become? Okay. The whole... Let's put dirty questions on Family Feud. Was kind of funny the first couple of times oh, yeah. it happened. Now it's probably like super overused. Now it's like an old gag. The only thing that keeps oh, that thing rock. entertaining at all, that keeps that entire gag worthwhile, is his reactions. Yeah. Steve Harvey makes that channel worth it. Or that show worth it. Fair. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what we're looking for, but... What oh. am I looking for? Oh, we did the right thing. <laughs> What am I fighting for? What are you waiting for? I was referencing Zero for Mega Man X4. Love me like you do. <laughs> Another garbage song. <laughs> love, love. Oh, and I'm all garbage. This whole channel's garbage, dude. You mean my whole channel? Hold by me. <laughs> Your whole channel is garbage. I can't confirm. What if somebody? What if this is someone's first worldwide meme video, and they think I'm worldwide meme in your Blue Couch Productions? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> I mean, that if they, if they only watch one episode, then, you know, it's what they get. This is like Wife Swap, but with channels. <laughs> Remember when Wife Swap was <laughs> Yeah, actually. You know, that was Back the next we, question I was going to ask you. <laughs> when we don't, when we didn't have TV, meaning, like, watch, you know, PBS. A lot of ABC and a lot of PBS. The PBS, you know, anything, whatever, would come on. Wife Swap's like, whoa, that's kind of funny. Yeah. That and Extreme Makeover Home Edition were, like, the PBS standards. All right, go ahead. Listen. Which one made that sound when it dropped? What were your have... best two? <laughs> it wasn't the last two. Okay. So, so I'll pick three. Yeah! Go gooey! Okay, so now I know what's going on. Listen. Turn this shit up. I'm a guest. Two. Which one? Oh is wait, that? no. Guess, guess the, guess the last one. I guess two. One. Really? Wow. 
it, our audio is delayed, so I don't, I can't tell. That one will have to be done outside of it. Like, that's literally impossible. Yeah, that's pretty hard. And I don't want to make Chef sad. I don't want to make Chef Kawasaki sad. He's Chef my, makes me sad already. He's my favorite. He's adorable. I love the fact that he's in almost every Kirby. He's in Superstar. He's in a Superstar Ultra. I like the part where he, like, literally cooks and throws you. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote a Kirby story with Chef Kawasaki as one of the characters in it. You wrote, you wrote Kirby fanfic? Hey, you don't remember? No. How'd that go? It was literally a trip I had where I had Kirby... You went on a trip, you say? I had Kirby, Meta Knight, Kawasaki, and I think DDD, like, go on an adventure together, and I'd write it out chapter by chapter. Aww. And you would read it at the very end, each chapter, and be like, oh, here's a grammar mistake here, here, and here. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely a grammar hater. Right. I fucking hate writing. Uh, but yeah, Chef Kawasaki was one of the characters in it, and he was, like, kind of the comedic fucking chef character. Do you still have but those? But he had a backstory. I don't remember what, but he had a backstory. His back was full of stories. Ooh. He's like some baby back. I probably don't have him anymore because it was on one of those little tiny notepads. Oh. But it was cool. It was back yeah, when I still you're did sad. a little Boo -boo. bit of writing. Poor Chef. Our audio is delayed. Blame the Elgato. <laughs> Great. I got the one bad one. Great. We both got the one bad one. I want to follow by example. I want to be a team player. I'm a team player. E. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go back and get all these since we already know how to do them all. And mm -hmm. I hope you guys had for watching. Please leave your thoughts and suggestions below. And uh, howdy, I'm Blue Couch Productions, and you are? Uh, I've been Worldwide Meme, a YouTube professional extraordinaire, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace. I don't know your ending. What's your ending? Signing off. <laughs>